Man, this review almost collapsed already under the weight of its own title. Besides, I don't know of anyone who uses that whole duel of the planeswalkers nomenclature anyway, especially since planeswalkers aren't really a part of this game. But no matter. There's marketing to be done after all to remind you that the Return to Ravnica set is totally a thing that's happening and that you should go buy some of those cards. And that marketing takes the form of five new decks for five bucks. That's not bad, but could any of them stack up to the maddening fun of the Mill Crazy Jace deck from the original game? I had to investigate. Each of the five decks included in this expansion is a two-color affair, representing one of the ten guilds of Ravnica, and leaving room for another expansion, naturally. As usual, there's a long and winding backstory to all of these cards, but the basic gist is this. You've got enchantment-heavy white-blue, token-spamming white-green, removal-happy black-green, huge demonic red-black, and a blue-red direct damage thing? In honesty, I never actually saw the Is It deck work, which is unfortunate because it's named after me. Those who watched my Final Fantasy XI review know what's up. Before you can use the decks, though, you have to unlock them in the campaign mode, same as the original decks. In similar fashion, there's a revenge campaign featuring harder core versions of each deck, a five-stage puzzle mode, and 15 more points worth of achievements. Of course, these new decks are available for all play modes once unlocked, local and online, including the ever-entertaining Plane Chase. You know, call me paranoid, but I get the feeling that a flying creature that gets plus one, plus one every time a card enters an opponent's graveyard might do well in a four-player game. Just a hunch. I'll be the first to admit I like console adaptations of card games like this because... well, because I'm cheap. I'd rather spend 10 to 20 bucks annually for a limited card set and significantly more level playing field. And while the Duels of the Planeswalkers series has had a few issues in its time, I still maintain that the UI desperately needs an actual cursor rather than the difficult to control highlighter it currently uses, it keeps me at least familiar with current rulings and mechanics. Things have changed quite a bit since I started. Back when interrupts were a thing, anti-cards were still printed and man was alliances awesome. So if this expansion comes across as crass marketing, it's got me interested in playing their game again. When a friend grabs me by the arm and tries to drag me into the presence of other human beings on a Friday night, it'll be a little harder for me to resist. Until I have to open my wallet, then all bets are off.